Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ankit Murodia, second year resident doctor from Radiology Department, Shiusha Medical College and Hospital. I am presenting a case in a case of the week series. History A 50 year old female patient presented with a gradual onset progressive visual loss and headache since last 5 months. X-ray skull lateral view shows a widened shell at Rishika. Non-contrast CT images reveals a large soft tissue density mass lesion involving cellar and supracellar region. It is causing deepening and widening of floor of shell at Rishika. However, no evident extension is seen in sphenoid sinus. Axial T1 weighted MRI images reveals a large well-defined ISO2 hypointense lesion involving cellar region. Axial T2 weighted and flare images shows hyperintense lesion involving cellar region. T2 weighted sagittal and coronal images reveals evidence of a large well-defined heterogeneously hyperintense lesion involving cellar and supracellar region. The lesion is causing deepening and widening of floor of the cellar tarsica. However, no evident extension is seen in sphenoid sinus. Superiorly, the lesion elevating the optic chiasma which is draped over it as well as compression over floor of the third ventricle with mild dilatation of bilateral lateral ventricles seen. Literally, the lesion is not encasing cavernous segment of the internal carotid artery on either side. Lesion shows a craniocaudal extension of 29 mm. Lesion resemble a classic snowman or figure 8 shape appearance. Summarizing all the findings, the final diagnosis is pituitary macroadenoma. Discussion Pituitary adenoma are classified as either functioning or non functioning depending on their ability to secrete hormone. Etiology The exact cause is unknown, however, there is a predisposition that pituitary tumor are inherited through an autosomal dominant trait. Epidemiology Pituitary adenomas constitute 10% of all intracranial neoplasm and are the most common primary neoplasm found in the cellar region. Occur in both male and female equally during the third and fourth decade of life. Sign and symptoms Patient may present with frontal headache, visual symptom, increased intracranial pressure, personality changes, seizure, rhinorrhea, and pituitary apoplexy secondary to hemorrhagic infarction of the adenoma. Imaging characteristic adenoma that measure less than 10 mm are defined as a microadenomas, while those measuring greater than 10 mm are defined as a macroadenomas. CT focal region of hypodensity within the gland. Following contrast enhancement, the tumor will be isodense to the normal pituitary gland. MRI T1 weighted images appear as a region of hypointensity within the gland. T1 weighted contrast enhanced images appear hyperintense. T2 weighted images appear with a variable signal that is unpredictable. Now treatment methods may include the transphenoidal pituitary resection, cryohypophysectomy, pituitary irradiation or bromocryptin. Prognosis The patient's prognosis is ranked from fair to good depending on the extent the tumor spread outside the shell at Arshika. I would like to thank Dr. Harshad Sahasar, Dr. Nirmala Churasamamam, Dr. Rashesh Vyasar, Dr. Navin Mehta sir, my seniors and my colleagues. Thank you.